Uh, I'd like to introduce the first one is uh, Mr. Atsushi Kuramochi from uh, Dokomo Gakko. Uh, he's a representative of uh, one of the uh, certified, JMOC certified platform is uh, the launched the very first stage. Uh, it's a 2014 uh, April. So, please, Kuramochi, please. Thank you for introducing Sabadi Cup. Hello, everyone. Thank you. My name is Atsushi Kuramochi from Japan. Today, I will talk about platform very, very shortly. Okay. Next. Uh, Gagos platform launched in 2014. Now, uh, just three years ago. Thank you. Now, member of our runners is 346,000. And we provided courses uh, 180 over. Our platform is open edX based. Now is the uh, dogwood version. This is a runner's profile. Uh, ratio of ages uh, under 20 years old to 17 years old, but oh, white ages. And ratio of device is desktop, and mobile, tablet, various devices. Uh, this line graph is access time for 24 hours. Yes. This mean is Japanese is very hard work. <laughs> Only sleeping time. Expect for keep studying, very, very studying. This is the rice round last slide. Uh, today, just milk summit, but we business company, so so we make good revenue on spoke. You know spoke. Spoke is uh, small private online courses uh, for in-house training or. Uh, um, enterprise training need uh, security or uh, private or uh, secret. Now uh, we're providing spoke for much cooperated on same MOOCs platform. If you interested to our spokes, please contact to us this email. Kopunkas, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kromoji, for a nice presentation of the GACO. And the next presenter is uh, Ms. Uh, Maho uh, Hakamada from uh, Fujitsu, the other representative of uh, uh, Fizan Pratom. 
please. Hi, uh, my name is Maho Hakamada from Fujitsu Limited. It's a great honor to be here to introduce our Fujitsu MOOC uh, called Fujitsu uh, Fizdom here today. Okay. So uh, some of you might know uh, Fujitsu as a computer vendor or maybe uh, air conditioning provider. But actually, uh, Fujitsu is the uh, world's fifth largest ICT service provider. And we have uh, application as well as hardware for all over the world. And Fujitsu has been uh, providing education application for uh, more than 30 years uh, for universities and schools. So based on this uh, experience, we developed a new platform called FISDOM, utilizing our uh, secured data center and also cloud services. So the name FISDOM uh, is uh, originate from uh, the term freedom and wisdom. And there are three uh, main features. Uh, first one is hybrid and integrated platform. Uh, FISDOM can be used not only for the uh, open education platform, uh, which is classified as MOOC, but also can uh, support a private education platform, SPOC, for supporting flipped classroom or blended, blended learning. And second feature is uh, the bilingual support. We uh, provide both Japanese and English language. And also uh, for regarding the peer assessment, uh, peer assessment is performed based on group that share the same language. And the third feature is a si single sign on. Our FISDOM uh, learners can log in with open ID, such as ID of Google or ID of Facebook. And also seamless authentication uh, support seamless uh, login uh, between FISDOM and external services such as uh, library OPAC or learning management system of university. This is the course structure of FISDOM. Uh, one lecture, one course is consists of syllabus, playlist with uh, multiple video clips and test and discussion board. An easy and friendly user interface allows lecturer to design flexible course. And this is an example of uh, currently uh, provided on FISDOM. Okay. There are many uh, types of courses, and each course has different purposes and different target uh, audience. The first, first one is basic course series on engineering. This course is uh, I, this course aimed to educate employees in engineering company to relearn, learn again, and reviewing uh, their technological, uh, basic technological knowledge and uh, skills. The second one is the course on information literacy. Uh, Fujitsu uh, professional instruct instructor teaches uh, how to use PowerPoint, how to use Word or Excel for the general public. And the third one and the fourth one is the course on presentation skill development. Uh, this is good for students, uh, academic researchers, and also uh, for the uh, business personnel to develop soft skills. And the last one, okay. Last one is Ishikawa Prefecture and its future possibilities. This course was developed uh, by Kanazawa University, which is a national university in Japan for their students as well as local community to understand uh, local culture and aspects for the community development. Okay, so. okay these are the, uh, some sample screenshot. And actually we have a demo booth outside of this room. So you can uh, visit us uh, and we can show actual system screen. This is uh, a list of chapters and list of video clips. And this is an 
example of egg. And uh, we are currently developing application, a smartphone application for uh, iOS and also Android, and will be ready by uh, April. And also, we will release a learning analytic uh, function in July. So uh, please uh, try and log in. Everyone can log in our system, so please uh, try our system if you have it, any interest. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Ms. Mahoro, for introducing the FISTAM. And the uh, next presenter is of uh, uh, please, uh, <coughs> uh, the in your uh, program, as if our uh, presenter changed. So the uh, next presenter is uh, uh, Toshinori Izawa from uh, Net Learning Company uh, as a representative of Open Learning Japan. Please. Sorry, not this one. Uh, thank you very much for coming today. My name is Toshino Izawa. I'm a salesperson at Netline Corporation in Tokyo. Uh, today, the purpose of this presentation is to introduce our platform service, which is Open Learning Japan. Uh, this is uh, one of the JMUC platform. Okay. Uh, I will talk about our company profile and our programs and then we'll focus on Open Learning Japan. Uh, Net Learning is an e-learning company. Uh, we provide educational services over the internet. Our services are currently being used by 35 million people. We have over 5,500 courseware. Uh, Net Learning was established in Japan in January 1998. More than 4,500 uh, 4, companies and schools have incorporated net learning services into their employee, customer, teacher, and student training programs. Uh, let's talk about our programs. We offer comprehensive programs tailor-made to the various needs of a diverse range of companies, providing the ultimate strategic corporate learning programs. Our services cover broad range, including but not limited to introductory consultation on new systems, provision of the learning management system and courseware design, production, delivery, and application. Here are some of our major clients. The concept of open learning is that open learning is for all universities and for all students. The characteristic of open learning is meaningful for students to take and complete courses. We target university people and higher completion ratio. Uh, we released one class that was about Japanese fashion history. This is one of the case study. Uh, about this course, the average age of learners is 49 years old. And men and female learners are both 50%. This is a very interesting result. 
Uh, we are committed to the compression ratio. How can it be realized? There are reasons for that. Uh, no matter how good you create a video, it will frustrate learners in the process if it's hard to use the system. I think that the contents of the test and the degree of difficulty are the obstacle factors. However, since open learning is designed as a whole, there are few obstacles, so the result rate is high. Uh, moreover, we have a support center, so it is available to solve the external frustration factors. Uh, there are three characteristics of open learning in Japan. First is, is multilingual platform. Second is focus on universities. And the third is concentrate on completion ratio. Our platform is available to use Japanese, English, and Chinese. We also cater to Spanish, uh, Portuguese, Italy, French, and so on. All the courses displayed here, uh, all university class lesson. We always listening to the teacher's lesson. We are working from the lesson design. They can be viewed later for their learning, and they can be repeatedly, repeatedly viewed for further learning. I think that we are the only provider that does it all. Therefore, it is possible to develop services that maintain high compilation ratio. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Thank you very much for cooperation for all, <coughs> all of the JMUC presenters. Maybe we can use Sarah uh, uh, some minutes more. Could you please come up? <laughs> Professor Yamada, you can use uh, maybe five minutes. Okay, so um, I have already so um, mentioned our our um, our own our own mean uh, Open University of Japan platform. Uh, this is the one with the official JMU official platform. So uh, so I just used one slide and explained uh, uh, why so uh, JMU has uh, four platforms. So, uh, so maybe I cannot change. That's right. The, no, uh, the list of the slide. Uh, okay, uh, I, I can do. Just uh, please wait a while. So, um, so at the moment, so we have uh, four official platforms. Uh, unfortunately, so. Um, uh, NTT Dogmos platforms use the open edX software. So at the moment, uh, so uh, they, uh, we, we send the invitation to NTT Dogmo, but at the moment they cannot join this framework. So, um, so um, please consider the uh, learner standpoint. So uh, uh, he or she is a lifelong learner. 
So, so they take the courses in different uh, MOOC providers or MOOC consortium. So, um, but they want to um, manage their um, achievement record in, in each as the uh, autonomous learning, lifelong learners. So we need some kind of the common framework to collect all of the achievement record from all different uh, MOOC providers. So um, uh, e-portfolio other uh, uh, achievement record uh, um, database. So we started this kind of a pilot project. So um, we, we mean Open University of Japan provide a common, common content to uh, three providers. So uh, needless to say, uh, our content, uh, at first we implemented our own uh, con uh, platform, but we uh, so shared our content to Open Learning Japan and Systems to ask them to our content using the same materials and to provide in, in different uh, ways. So, but the re record, learning record or learning achievement record should be co correct to our own learning uh, log stores. So all of uh, a student or registrant, you can d use a different platform, but um, all of them is our uh, registrant, registrant of our OUJ courses. So uh, we need to collect or harvest all of the data from our uh, OUJ learning log stores. So uh, we uh, have just this kind of the project. So. Um, at the moment, so uh, different platform had a different uh, so functions. Uh, so at the moment, learners have some inconvenience to use different so platforms. But um, uh, in, in this framework, we also uh, I study some kind of the usability uh, to um, to improve their our um, users, so uh, what users' convenience. So, but um, from the viewpoint of lifelong learning, so maybe uh, learners can, learners use different, learn or study in different um, uh, platforms, but they want to, they want to or they should manage their own record in one place, one place in, uh, so um, student, each student manage their own student record. So uh, we need in, uh, this kind of framework. Uh, uh, we need a near future. So we start this kind of the project. So thank you very much for attention. Thank you very much, Professor Yamada, for your very, very nice presentation. Uh, this uh, model could be the very nice uh, reference model for the uh, uh, global uh, cooperation. I think that there are, ma there are many uh, countries using the very different uh, platform. And uh, many uh, citizens, runners uh, from the various countries use the various uh, platform from of the various country. But the, uh, from the uh, uh, learners' point of view, those of the uh, learners' log uh, should be integrated to the uh, whole at once for the uh, learners uh, to keep the learners' uh, certification. So uh, one of the case study uh, he uh, mentioned. Thank you very much for all of the uh, <coughs> presenters. So could you please give them so they are, uh, a big applause for their nice presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, all the presenters, and also Dr. Yoshimi. Um, so please join me to give everybody a big hand again, please. Thank you very much. It has been a long day. Um, thank you for putting up with us. I'm sorry for the technical problem. Tomorrow, we will not have this kind of problem anymore. 
Okay, so please come back and join us. A lot more things to do tomorrow. We start with signing ceremony MOU between the three MOOCs. It's going to be the first time in the world that big MOOCs join together, and we also have kickstart event of Thai MOOC in the morning, followed by track number three and track number four. So tomorrow another big day. So please join us and learn a lot together. For many of you, please have a safe trip back home and see you tomorrow. For our ASEAN delegates, please don't forget we have a meeting. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. For our international delegates, don't forget that we have appointment, 6 p.m. for dinner on the 32th floor. So please, uh, all the international guests, see you at 6 o'clock. I will cook something good for you. OK. All right. For our ASEAN delegate, before the dinner, we have also meeting on the 32th floor. So please make your way up to the 32th floor. Thank you very much.